whatever comes under adjustment every time it comes under other head items only this will not come under disallowed remember even though that 3000 belongs to family planning will not come under disallowed add all the item minus all the item you are done with your business income once you done with your business income you are supposed to go for what yes you are supposed to go for total income A warm welcome to one and all. This is your Radha Sir here, lecturing with us from First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. Now we are discussing your tax management to session seven, the topic called assessment of companies. Under assessment of companies, we are discussing your complete problem, your examination problem. In this, we are going to discuss the whole calculation. You are supposed to do the problem along with. me also so i have not have any answers here we have to find out so we'll go for that your problem number 9 from the profit and loss account of mandya sugar for the year ended 2019 and 20 now these are the informations we have remember what are the disallowed item again i'll repeat which are disallowed now disallowed items it is nothing but like if you have anything like provisions take reserves take donations take personal expenses take luxury tax income tax property tax municipal tax take any donations yes personal expense yes along with it underwriting commission yes 80% you are supposed to take and any general expenses used for personal use then also you are supposed to take hope you got it yes these are called as disallowed item in this cost of goods sold no whatever list i have given remember that cost of goods sold no salary no we'll go to adjustment we'll come back in the adjustment we have adjustment on bad debts depreciation as per income tax contribution to recognize provident fund this is your investment general expenses include 3000 spent on promoting family planning so this will not come under disallowed remember even though that 3000 belongs to family planning will not come under disallowed it is a part of your business only compute taxable income of company so in this we'll go back cost of goods sold will not come salary will not come general expenditure even though family planning expenses are included we are not supposed to consider commission no interest on loan we have to assume that taken for business purpose director fees no rbd yes income tax yes depreciation yes why yes why yes means you have adjustment hope you are clear why it is yes you have adjustment and after depreciation we have wealth tax so wealth tax is what 10000 wealth tax is 10000 now so wealth tax also take proposed dividend take penalty and fines penalty and fines also you are supposed to take hope you got general reserve yes take because we have word called reserve then donation to ndf take subscription sugar part of your business because you are running sugar industry whatever subscription paid business related chamber of commerce subscription part of your business custom you are part of your business municipal tax yes municipal tax whatever you paid you are supposed to take hope you are clear yes these are the things we are supposed to consider as this a load item now what are the other head income will go where you will get credit side now in this sale of sugar part of your business transfer fees also part then rent from agriculture land yes premium on issue of shares yes interest on bank deposit yes capital gain on sale of investment yes rent from building let out yes all these things comes under other source item then 
do we have anything nothing this much only you are supposed to do start your problem with net profit add all the item minus all the item you are done with your business income so business income so how do you calculate so you are supposed to calculate like particular so here amount and amount here your previous year and assessment year you are supposed to write now in this what you are supposed to do first one net profit net profit what is your net profit in this your net profit is 280000 is your net profit 280000 is your net profit add this allowed item this allowed rs you can call it as inadmissible expenses we can also call it as what inadmissible expenses now add one by one so first one your rbd income tax depreciation will go one by one rbd is 10000 rbd so this has to be in the outer column so rbd is how much 10000 next after rbd what is the next one so we have income tax 24000 income tax 24000 so we have depreciation 42000 depreciation 42000 after that we have wealth tax 10000 wealth tax 10000 after wealth tax we have proposed dividend 1 lakh proposed dividend 1 lakh then after proposed dividend we have penalty and fines 5500 penalty and fines 5500 after that we have general reserve of 55000 general reserve 55000 hope i am writing all the amounts here yes next after that do we have yes donation to ndf 5000 municipal tax 4000 donation to ndf 5000 municipal tax 4000 so these are the inadmissible expenses i'll add everything we'll see what is the total so 10000 plus 24000 plus 42000 plus 10000 plus 1 lakh 5500 55000 4000 i got 2 lakh 55 500 i'll cross check once 10000 plus 24000 plus 42000 plus 10000 plus 1 lakh plus 5500 55000 and 5000 4000 so i got 2 lakh 55 500 now so i done with this 2 lakh 55 500 then what is the next procedure the next procedure procedure is very simple less 
other head income other head income other head income what do you mean by other head income will go for that yeah other head incomes are like rent from agriculture land 20000 rent from agricultural land 12000 after that we have premium on issue of shares 75000 premium on issue of shares 75000 after that we have interest on bank how much 15000 interest on bank 15000 then we have capital gain on sale of investment 35000 capital gain on sale of investment so how much it is capital gain on sale of investment 35000 next after that rent from building let out 47500 rent from building let out let out how much it is 47500 47500 in the adjustment we have like depreciation 45 bad debts 6000 depreciation 45000 bad debts 6000 whatever comes under adjustment every time it comes under other head items only allowable items only so these are the things we are supposed to deduct now what is the total here 12000 plus 75000 plus 15000 plus 35000 47 500 45000 6000 235500 yes total is 235500 i'll cross check once 12000 plus 75000 plus 15000 plus 35000 plus 47500 plus 45000 plus 6000 i got 235500 so what we are supposed to do we are supposed to subtract then what here we are supposed to do we are supposed to add now what is your answer 2 lakh 80 thousand plus 2 lakh 55 500 minus 2 500 your answer is 3 lakh now i'll go to your answer 3 lakh 2 lakh 80 thousand this is 0 plus 2 lakh 55 500 minus 2 lakh 35 500 so how much i got i got around 3 lakh is your answer what is this 3 lakh this 3 lakh we call it as business income what is the next procedure once you done with your business income you are supposed to go for what yes you are supposed to go for total income income from salary always nil income from house property in this they have given income from capital gain is there income from other source is there income from business or profession 3 lakh hope you are clear do the total income in the exam also now i'll go back to the all the slides you can take screenshot this is your problem number nine your solution part solution part your solution part these are your actual solution continuation so this is all about your today's session hope you understood now we are done with your topic called assessment of company we will go with a new topic from the next session
Thank you.